Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Suzanne and Sarah YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to talk to you about when is the best season to visit Bend, Oregon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Suzanne and Sarah YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne Moore. And I'm Sarah Willis. We are Central Oregon's investment and real estate experts. I said, I'm Suzanne Moore. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Sunny Bend, Oregon with Realty One Group Discovery. And I'm also the founder of the Central Oregon Investor Network, which is a network of not just people in Central Oregon, but all over the country coming together to share investor resources, learn from each other, and create more passive income through real estate investments. And I'm Sarah Willis, Suzanne Moore, and I are a team here at Realty One Group Discovery and Bend. And we make these videos every week on investor topics for new and seasoned investors alike, as well as Bend lifestyle topics. We want to be who you think of when you come to Bend and you don't want to leave and you want to buy a home here. We are here to help and give you all the information you could ever need um, in order to do so. There's a QR code on the screen that we would love you to screenshot or hold your phone up to right now. We scour the market on a weekly basis and bring the subscribers to this topics email, um, all of Ben's best deals in lots of different categories. And it's just a great way to stay in touch with us and our market. Also, before the video ends, please like and subscribe. And we appreciate you watching. So we're here to talk to you about Ben and all the seasons. And it's a popular destination for vacations and second homes. But with limited time and resources, you may ask yourself, when is the best time of year to visit? planning your vacations for the next year. Um, and if you're coming here, you probably well know Bend is an outdoor enthusiast mecca and offers a variety of activities any time of year. So here we're here to tell you that the answer to when is the best time to visit largely depends on you and your interests and the activities that you want to participate in. So but really, here. it's all the time. Yep, that's, that's <laughs> I mean, we're cutting to the chase here. It's really all the time, but we're here to just break down the season for you and tell you what there is to do different times of year. So I know the picture behind us looks like Japan, but that is actually Bend, Oregon. So that is the Deschutes River near Drake Park. That is one of the beautiful trees that we have that flowers in the spring, which Sarah will talk about in a bit. But I'm going to start by talking about my favorite season, which is summer. So summer is the peak tourist season in Bend. The weather is perfect. It is warm. It is dry. It's between the 70s and 80s during the day, and then it cools off at night. It's awesome. You do not need air conditioning, but a lot of places have it. So this is really the best time to enjoy outdoor activities like hiking, mountain biking, fishing, river rafting, tubing down the Deschutes River. You can get uh, vacation rentals and hotels in Bend. And of course, prices will reflect demand this time of year. Um, but it's a great time to come because there's so much to do. So I mentioned number one, hiking. We have so many hiking trails that cater to all different skill levels, ages, and ability levels. So there are easy walks, there are challenging hikes. Some of our most favorite hikes are the Misery Ridge Trail at Smith Rock State Park and the South Sister Trail if you really want a challenge. Mountain biking is another great activity to do in the summer. It's one of the things that I enjoy doing. We have over 300 miles of mountain biking trails in Bend super popular destination for mountain biking enthusiasts. We love Phil's Trail, which is right in the city limits, and there are over 100 miles of single, single track trails right in Phil's Trail. Next up, there is river rafting or floating the river. This is what you see pictures of Bend all the time, people floating down the river. It's super fun, chill, and a great way to catch a concert for free, perhaps. Uh, another one is golf. We have so many golf courses in Bend and around Bend. So within the city limits, we have the Tethero Golf Club. And just a little bit south, we've got the Sun River Golf Courses as well. If you are a fisher person, fishing is great in Bend as well. We also have a lot of fly fishing. So one of the fly fishing only rivers is one of my favorite. That is Fall River. And that is down near Sun River area. So Deschutes River is another great place to go fishing and catch some brown trout. Finally, there are great concerts. As we mentioned, we have a really awesome outdoor amphitheater here that brings in really good acts from all over the world. And you can check those out at the Hayden, Home Am Hayden Homes Amphitheater, as well as the Bend Munchen Music Concert Series, which is free in Drake Park. 
So those are some fun things to do that you don't really have to worry about bundling up for. And that is our summer season. Another great thing that I enjoy doing in the summer is hitting up the outdoor breweries um, in the summer as well, because just there's lots of places to go with outdoor seating. Yeah. Also nice to let your kids run around in those outdoor places. <laughs> so next up is fall. So we consider that between September and November here. And it's a great time to visit Bend if you want to try and avoid some of the crowds um, when people go back to school and still enjoy our mild weather that time of year. <clears throat> this time of year, um, in Bend in the fall, we range from the high 50s to the mid 70s. Um, and it's also a time when we see our fall foliage peak, making an excellent time for more of those outdoor activities like hiking, biking, and scenic drives. So we talked about hiking and mountain biking here and some of the more popular places to do that. Um, hiking in the fall to see some of that foliage, Tumalo Falls Trail is a great place to see some of that foliage and also pilot Butte State Park is a great place to just get high up in the middle of the city and kind of just get a full 360 view um, of all those beautiful fall colors. Um, again, mountain biking is no exception. Again, uh, you, you're just out there in the nature and you see you see all of the, the pretty colors that we're talking about here and get to enjoy those crisp mornings and those warmer days. Um, fishing again, just another nice fall activity because you get to avoid some of the more crowded areas um, in the fall, which tends to be more crowded in the summer. Um, you get more rivers to yourself. <clears throat> and uh, the Crooked River is a great place to fish in the fall. Um, visiting a pumpkin patch in the fall is always a fun thing to do, no matter what age you are. It's very nostalgic. Um, and we have some places near Terrebonne um, that are great for doing that. Specifically, D&D Ranch um, is one of my favorites out there. Um, we also have fall festivals here in Bend, um, where we have the Bend Fall Festival and the Sisters Harvest Fair. Um, they feature live music, food, art vendors, just fun things to get out and do and enjoy still being outdoors before you have to dress with a lot of layers on. Yeah, the Oktoberfest. Don't yeah. forget, I love lederhosen. Oh, yeah. Big Su Suzanne beer. likes to put those <laughs> <laughs> on that outfit. I like that. Um, visiting a vineyard is another great place to go in the fall season here. Um, again, just nice to be outdoors. Um, Faith, Hope, and Charity Vineyards and Volcano Vineyards are two great places to check out um, that are local and sip some of the, the local fermented grapes here. So finally, check out going on a scenic drive. Um, we've got the Cascade Lake Scenic Byway and then also Mackenzie Pass and Santiam Pass Scenic Byway. And um, one of these Mackenzie Pass closes in the winter. So um, to, uh, to cars. So, you know, it's just a great place to check out before the weather gets too bad. Or go respect. mountain bike it once or road bike it. Yeah, once on that, that road mm -hmm. closes, it's a great place to ride your bike. Mm -hmm. There's a really cool like lava castle at the top. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. The D-Ride right Observatory. Thanks. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. We're rolling into winter and winter is cold in Bend, but we have a lot of sunny days in between that snowfall. So we generally get about 30 inches of snow in Bend. So if you dress warm, there's still lots of activities to enjoy. And this is when the ski resorts open, generally around Thanksgiving, sometimes a little bit later. And there are so many things to do in the snow here, like skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, ice skating. So let's talk about a few of these. Skiing and snowboarding. We have Mount Bachelor Resort here, which is great a great place to go ski and snowboard and learn as well. They have great packages for beginners. Um, there are 4,300 acres of skiing and snowboarding, and you can even ski outside of the resort, but still in that same area, if that's your thing. Speaking to what Mount Bachelor offers, they do this thing called the Ride in Five. So you get five lessons for a certain price. It's like 500 bucks. And then you get a free season pass for the rest of the year in order to, to, to use. So I think it's a really good deal and something great for people to... To learn on yeah but you have to be a legit beginner they, they don't mess around uh okay so snowshoeing super popular activity to do in bend it's great you just strap on your snowshoes and you can just like float over that deep fluffy snow it's super fun there's tons of trails up near mount bachelor um, and also in the deschutes national forest then there is ice skating so it's been a long time since i put on ice skates um but i remember doing it and it's really fun so 
the Seventh Mountain Resort has the Pavilion Outdoor Ice Skating Rink during the winter season. So definitely something to check out. Also, Sun River Resort has an ice skating rink as well. Snowmobiling. If you are more of a um, motor sport person, you can go snowmobiling. And there's awesome snowmobiling um, to get in the backcountry of Bend. And you can rent snowmobiles. You can bring your own. You can go guided. And Polina Lake and Polina Peak are great areas to go backcountry snowmobiling. Next up is winter hiking. You do not have to stop hiking after summer and fall. You can keep going. It's a great time to go. Uh, more northern areas of Central Oregon have less snow, so Smith Rock State Park is great. Uh, even Redmond and Tumalo Falls, uh, there's great places to go winter hiking. Cross-country skiing is one of my favorite things to do in the winter because it's super peaceful, it's free, and it's just super beautiful. So Virginia, Virginia Meisner Snow Park is a great place to go. They request a donation, so give them five bucks. Um, and it is groomed, so it's really nice trails. And then there's Dutchman Flat Snow Park, which is partially groomed, partially not. Um, that's a great place to go. And then finally, how to get warm in winter, go to a hot springs. Um, there are hot springs in the area. So there's Belknap Hot Springs, McCready Hot Springs. Both of those are within a few hours drive of Bend. All right, and then wrapping it up with spring here in Bend, this we consider this between March and May. It's a great time to visit Bend if you wanna experience beautiful wildflowers and waterfalls. Here's the deal though, don't trust what the weather for, what the 10 day weather forecast says. Um, temperatures do tend to range from the mid forties to mid sixties during the day, but we do still freeze at night and get into the twenties as well. Um, it's, it's a time where you're going to experience all of the seasons kind of in, in one day. So it may say we're cloudy, but we're going to get a lot of sun during the day as well. Um, they really just don't know, it seems like, is what is happening here. But spring's great because there are fewer crowds here, just like in the fall, than there are in the summer. Um, and like I said, uh, weather can be extremely variable. So bring all the gear um, when you come here in the spring. Um, it's an excellent time for hiking and mountain biking once again, just because the snow usually does melt when the sun comes out during the day when we do get snow. snow. Um, and a couple other fun ideas to do in the spring are visit a lavender farm. Um, we've got uh, Cascade Lavender Farms and Lavender Fields forever. Um, and these are just fun places to go to stroll and, uh, you know, pick up the you know, serene lavender vibe, right? You know, get, so get relaxed. <laughs> um, and then we also have spring festivals. Um, we have one that is called the Central Oregon Sportsman Show and then also the Oregon Garden Brew Fest. Um, these festivals, again, just have live music, food, craft beer, vendors. Um, we, another one that I just finished up is running in the bed marathon that happens every spring, um, happens in the beginning of April. It's just such a fun, small town event. Um, whatever, a couple thousand people. It's not very big. Um, and they have something for everybody, 5K, 10K, half or full distances. Um, run with a friend, make a new one. Um, ch chat while you're along along the way. They've got a beer tent afterwards. Um, and it's just, it's just a fun event that people travel here from all over to experience and just kind of live like a local. And it's a great way to see Ben too. Like, especially if you're running the half of the full marathon, you get a really mm -hmm. good taste of the neighborhoods. Yeah. It's a little hilly though. So be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not a, not a flat marathon. Okay. So then finally, again, just go on a scenic drive. It, we, it's a great time to see those wildflowers. So the Mackenzie Pass and, uh, the Cascade Lake Scenic Byway are great places to go take in the spring growth. Um, and there's also the Oregon Outback south of Lapine, Highway 43 oh, yeah. takes you east and it is like the Oregon Outback. So it's super fun to check out. Very few visitors, tons of cool stuff to check out out there, but don't tell anyone I told you. Yeah. Don't have to really worry about snow out that direction, right? No, Not really. Yeah. So as we said, overall, there's really no bad time to visit Bend. It just depends on you and your interests and the activities you want to participate in while you're here. So no matter when you visit, you'll find plenty of things to do and beautiful scenery to enjoy. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining us for this video on when the best time is to visit Ben, which is always. Yeah. And remember when you come here and you decide you don't want to leave, give us a call and we will help you find a home. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye, everyone.